Hagelin has an unlucky bounce. Baird gets around Hagelin and takes a shot. The save is made by Spencer Ritchie on the follow-up. Rusnak buries it in the back of the net. Third of the season for the native of Slovakia. Trying to take a shot. Desaved by Ritchie back across the middle. Powell clears Johnson on the rebound. Buries it in the back of the net. Rusnak on the penalty. Steps to the ball. And Rusnak on the road has a brace. Sabatunaro from TFC at the moment. Here's an opportunity for Dari Kintana. Back of the goal! Nemanja Nikolic has scored in three straight, and the Chicago Fire grabbed the early lead. It's like Kamara in there, and Smith smacked in. There's Kamara! And Colorado and Kai Kamara strike here late in the opening half to tie it. Sparring in the midfield, Guy Todd and the Fire come away with it. Katai sneaking in. Alexander Katai, Sapong, and the Fire grab the lead again. And the CJ Sapong Revival Tour continues. Slips it through. CJ Sapong gets a second crack. There goes Guy Tan. Mihalovic, Chicago Fire, lead 3 1. A thing of beauty there. But that all started for me, that initial first pass by Mihalovic. Skipping forward, Alexander Katai makes the cut. Katai lets it fly! Alexander Katai has just scored his first goal of the season. Shot. It 
was in his mind all the way. Here's Montero striking. Goal to the beginning. Here's Madunian and setting it in. Tapped in front. And there's the third goal. Unselfishly, the Union played it across, and Madoya gets it. It goes for Pereira, who scores. 18 years young, starting for a fifth consecutive game, his third goal and two assists as well. Is he really only 18? Support in the middle from Acosta, who has won the game for FC Dallas. It's a dagger to the heart of the champions. Look at Acosta, that's a 75-yard run. He's flat-footed, he's caught defending. That is a big-time run from a midfielder that could smell blood in the water. Great ball in from Barrios. And FC Dallas has put on an absolute clinic. He's only ever missed one in a match for Atlanta. This for a very late lifeline and the end of a goal-scoring drought. Joseph Martinez does what he usually does from that distance. His goal drought is over after seven and a quarter hours. Clinical penalty for me. No hop, skip, and a jump that we've seen. Stefan couldn't keep it out. Mabiala gives Portland their first lead since the opening game of the season. Nicely flighted ball. You can see the bend. Take it well. Zach Stefan got his hands up, but couldn't get enough. And then it's party time. Blanco, a Bobasi! Take two for Portland. Third goal of the year. The third year player out of Duke. Got him. Santos! Yeah! Then the Portuguese winger. It's wonderful from Santos. He was right in line from our broadcast position. And you could see as soon as he hit it that he had it. Paredes sliding over. Put away by Moreira. A little bit of time. This is really well done in the pass from close range. Caicedo with Pania running for it. Pania opens up his leg, shoots, and Down by Danny Jose! Goal! San Jose! Took that ball over the top, settled and scored. It's 1 0 Earthquakes. Hoosen getting it behind Barat again. Hoosen on his right foot. Goal! San Jose! Earthquakes quickly out of the gate here in the second half. Pulling it back. This is Shea Salinas. Yeah! You bet! Go! San Jose! Erickson trying to return. Puts the shot up! Oh! -ho! Magnus Erickson! Go! San Jose! And the route is on. 4 nothing earthquakes. Sierra's on the other hand. The run up. That's a sporting KC goal for Felipe Gutierrez, his second of the season. Hey, oh. Oh. New York City FC steer themselves in front. Retreats it just with a simple run, no pressure inside the 18. See Bill Hamid left floundering. Matarita falls for Abe. And that's the finish of a proper Brazilian striker. His first goal for New York City FC. Briant's too slow to step up, and that is a great little dink ball over the top from Matarita and Hebert in his first start for New York City Football Club. That ball's in the back of the net, and they're up 2-0 on the road. Alexi and I are looking forward to go back there as Kay rolls it in. They have a great control, he scores! And then what a ball that is for Mark Anthony Kay. Takes about six players from the Sounders out of the game. Carlos Vela one-on-one. -on -one. 
More often than not, that's in the back of the net with his ninth goal. What a finish. Can't play the outlet. Back to the feet of Atuesta from K. They're backing off him. Torres went to ground early, and Atuesta punishes him with LAFC's second goal. But it's a giveaway, and it's LAFC with their counter-pressing to create this turnover. And then just how about the composure from Atuesta in that moment? As he gets it here, he's driving back. It's a great run there from Carlos Vela to open up the space in the middle of the field. Rolled on, finding Rodriguez. Morris in front of him. How about for Harry Schiff? A chance because Harvey fell down, and Schiff scores. And then the movement around the corner, one touch passing as this one comes. Here it is, Brad Smith, lovely little flick around the corner from Rolled on. Then Jordan Harvey has to come with a run from Jordan Morris that opens up the space then in the end. As Jordan Morris comes across your screen here, he drags Harvey because Harvey has to come with him. He loses his footing. Harry Ship on the right foot. Clean look at goal. That's Westa. Able to play it through. Vela flag staying down. Vela around front. Put on Vela. LAFC restored the lead. That's that man again. Ten goals now on the season, but it's far too easy. Finding out to Westa and Carlos Vela is on. There's Kelvin Leardown. Who's just leaning the other way? Ramirez, back heel, K, roll back in for Ramirez. What, what a goal. goal! What a performance! What a team! What a goal! What a goal! I mean, just the movement continuously. Ramirez as he picks this one up on the top of the box. Great first touch. Back heel, how about that? Let me get the return one. Mark Anthony K senses the movement. He moves into the attack. Nobody from Seattle just follows. They just fall asleep.